Action Park Media. Come on, I'm starving. Where do you want to go eat at? Go to fucking Saloon. All right, let's go to Saloon. We're going to go see Richie. Best restaurant in South Philly. Best restaurant, best staff, best people, best food. You got it. Come on. Let's After go. you, my man. Yeah. Bougie, you're listening to The Skinny with Joey Molino. Welcome to episode five, The Skinny with Joey Merlino and Little Snuff. We're back in South Philly at the saloon on 7th and Fitzwater. Best restaurant in Philly, maybe in the country. Absolutely. Been coming here for 50, 50 years. There goes some appetizers. Years. We got some appetizers here. Thank you. Langostinos, Clams Pavarotti. Clams Casino. Clams Casino and the stuffed pepper. Yeah. Can't beat that anywhere. Best restaurant around. Thank you to Alexis and Nina being great waitresses. Best. And, you know, everybody's got to like, subscribe, follow. We're on YouTube. We're on Spotify. We came from Florida back to South Philly, and we got some good stories for them today, don't we, Joe? Yes, we do. My friend Richie, uh, who owns the saloon, he's been here over 50-something years. He took care of my whole family. My father was away for 26 years. He took care of my mother and my wow. sisters. Good man. He helped Absolutely. More, he helped more people than the Red Cross. Yeah. <laughs> Richie's a great guy. Class act. Let's not forget Sandy. Oh, Sandy, Sandy holds here. everything yes. together Sandy around here. Sandy holds the fort down. Yes, she does. Sandy's arena. Now they got a hell of a crew. Yes, they do. The waitresses, the bartenders, Anthony Cardulo, they're the best. And the, the food's the best in the city. Best food. Absolutely. Best food around. And I, we wanted to get into a couple of stories that people have been asking me about, you know, always on Instagram and YouTube. But if you read the comments last week, somebody was talking about, somebody tried to poison you or something. Is that poison true? Me? Oh, yeah, do you yeah, remember that? Yeah, yeah. Um, the fuck's her name? Some, another rat. Coletti, Brenda Coletti. I don't know who she is. She was standing outside the federal building when I came home from jail with a, with a target sign, so I was going to kill her. She, they said she tried. She said, I don't, I don't know. She said, you don't even know these people. I don't even know her. Said she came in the, the club warehouse where I was to put cyanide in my drink. Wow. I remember it. She was, if she was pretty, we would all drink it. I don't think that. <laughs> yeah. So she was good looking. Everybody would have drank it. I would have drank the whole fucking yeah. bottle of cyanide. What year was this? I don't even know. 90 something. Wow. In the 90s. I don't know her. Yeah. I don't know who the fuck she is. And it all came out this story that she tried to poison she you. She said it. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. When you walked out of Federal Building and you seen her with a bullseye on it, you had to be saying to yourself, what the fuck is going on here? I think my parole officer called me. I said, I don't even know her. <laughs> yeah. I think they throw her out of the program. Fucking, really? Fucking nut. Another one that got rid of yeah. the program. Yeah. Nobody gets and to stay in the program. They just get tossed yeah. out yeah. one by one. Yeah. Sick. So Yeah, it really is. But everybody was asking, they're saying, how could somebody try and poison this guy? Like, they just couldn't understand, like, how that happened. Well, she said, I, yeah. I don't know. If yeah. she was pretty, I was dead. Yeah, if she was pretty, you were dead, absolutely. I wouldn't have been here. Absolutely. And last week, we gave a little bit of the insight of the armor car story and things like that. But we didn't get too much detail. We saved it for this week for everybody to keep tuning in. Where did you guys go and spend the money when you got the money? They said it was marked, right? I read I read in the paper they said the money was marked. Go- Gogs brought it. Uh, I think it was a Saturday Daily News. There was an article that said the money was marked. Wow. So me and him go to the dice table in Caesars. <laughs> we threw 40,000 to 20s on the table. So God says, what are we going to do? You know, if, how, yeah. how about if it's marked? I said, if it's marked, they're going to lock us up. If it ain't, shoot the fucking dice. <laughs> <laughs> and we shot the dice and went broke. Never, 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 never could shot. win that way, right? Shot, no. It's just... Especially when it wasn't marked. It wasn't marked. I know because he was telling me the story. Yeah. Gogs told me yeah. the whole story and I couldn't believe it. Yeah. And then when you were in Atlantic City for that or were you in Vegas? No, Vegas. You were in Vegas. Vegas. Yeah, Vegas. And what about the tips? I heard you were giving out tips well, left and right. I, Gogs had like 20,000 and fives. We just kept on giving everybody 500 and fives. Just <laughs> the money out. Just giving it all away. The stacks. Yeah, the people were going nuts. That's amazing. It really is. We had a good time. Absolutely had a good time. When I got home, when I left Vegas, I left my clothes here. I took a cab from the Philly airport to my mother's house. It was $20. I had no money. I had to borrow 20 of my mother. So after 500000 in cash, really 350 yeah. then yeah. you were winning down there, yeah. didn't have money for the cab. I, my mother gave me $20 to pay the cab. I had no money. <laughs> That's true were, degeneracy yeah, right there. There was no fucking Uber back then. Yeah, no. <laughs> At, that's South Philly for yeah. you. So let's eat some of these appetizers right now, and then we got a special guest coming in. Fat Angelo. 
for uh, part two. Yeah, but I hope I hope he's running late with the food because if he if he eats in here, forget about it. We're dead. You gotta hit. You know. <laughs> I got. We'll wait for him to come. Yeah, wait for him to come, and then we're going to talk about the story of the check cashing with your mother. Yeah. Part two. We only gave a little bit when we were at the restaurant, but today I, we're going to get yeah, into it. I'll let him tell it. All right, let's dig in a little bit right here. Best My food favorite. in the city. Clams Casino, knock your socks off. Clams Casinos. We're back. Episode five from the saloon, 7th and Fitzwater in South Philly. I got one of my main, main men here with us for part two of the check cashing story. Mr. Angelo Lutz himself and skinny Joey Merlino. What's up, Cougie? Not much, Cougie. We missed you. Really? Stuff you really play me up. Good. I do. It's, it's good. Yeah. I, I really enjoyed myself you at the restaurant. Me bigger than life. <laughs> yeah. you great job. I hope you're not hungry. I, there was food. I got here. There's no food. What happened? Yeah, it's coming out. The food's coming out. I'm starving. Starving. We'll, we'll need you hit a fucking three team parlay to pay your check. Yeah. <laughs> Forget you about eat. that. Any the chance you, you can come to the food, <laughs> they come here to eat saloon and zen's it in. You know what I mean? It's a shot. If we would have hit them games last nothing. night, it would have been different. We would have uh, been able to pick went, up this check. Because he went with the Rams. That's why. <laughs> the Rams, Never yeah. go against the home team. No. You're right. We're homers. Tell so what's going on. We want. They want to know a little bit more of that story of the check cashing with you and Joey's mother. Well, well, not that, to, not that I want to look in the rearview mirror anymore. No, you, you, you're born again now. You're good. Well, I'm like Ralph. I saw the light. Right, in a good it, way. In a good way. Good guy seeing yeah. the light. Right. Not a bad guy. Right. Good guy. Uh, let me see. What was that story? My mother called me up. I just got shot. I'm laying in bed. I can't even walk. My mother calls me and says, Angelo owes me 2500 screaming for a check. What check? He cashed a check at bounce. <laughs> so I'm like, all right. I said, I'll pay you. Let me get it. I call him up. I'm cursing him. Yeah. No, he said it was a mistake. Something, you know, he's got every move. Yeah, it was so a I move. I give my mother the 2500 not to hear her. Yeah. The next day, two days later, she calls back. He bounced 26000 in checks, screaming. 26000 Ange? Yeah. yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, Bare week of football back then. Yeah. It really was this guy Herman's fault. But oh, okay. Well, Herman. Herman. Herman was the guy that cashed the checks right. for them in the check cash yeah. place. Now, you had a business back he then? He was scandalous himself. Yeah. You know, Larceny lived in his veins. Oh, okay. Trust me when he, I thought. Um, <laughs> he was doing something with the morgue. I don't know. Catering to the fucking morgue. I said, what's the morgue? They're all dead. Yeah, <laughs> who were you giving um, food to back then? I don't know. I had a catering company, and I was catering for, uh, it's kind of like the morgue, but it's a little bit different. So I used to do these corporate lunches for them. So, Mm -hmm. you know... They get, would give me checks and all. So I said to Joe, I said, Joe, can I cash? You should no, make I said, no. Sure. I told you no, and I told my I mother. I said, but Joe, I need to get, I need to get them cash and have all the paperwork to cash the check. Yeah. So he said, no. So anyway, I cashed the check. So, so you went behind his back and went right to Rita, and she well, cashed the check. My mother loved she, him. She, she, yeah. Yeah. Rita, Rita's cursed and hollered at me, but she loved me. Yeah. 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 So I cashed the check. He told me it was bad. He did pay it. I paid two it. Two days later, I go there, and I get, you That's know, I made sure shit. I no, sent somebody over the money. No, no, I sent the 2500 at first. Okay. Yeah. Then, then what happened was, there's a guy, Herman. I said, Herman, I'm going to have some more checks. Can we keep cashing them? And he said, yeah. So listen, statute of limitations of is gone, so I got no problem saying this. Yeah. So what I was doing was I was going to the bank, depositing the check, putting it in that account, then going to the thick. Was, I was waiting for money to come in, but like things weren't flowing. It was like the, the river was all like dumped. Yeah, so yeah. I couldn't get the flow through. So we were just like moving checks from bank to bank to bank. Of course. So... This uh, Skasha Bang that worked at the one bank, she caught on to it and she stopped taking the checks. So then when she stopped, stopped taking the checks, all hell broke loose. Forget about it. You know, you knew you were dead. We were in the hands of the Philistines. Yeah, it was over. Just, we'll be screaming. Forget about it. Screaming. screaming. So he this calls mother, me. So I call him up. I cursed you, motherfucker. I'm cursing him. What did so you I, said? So I said to him, like this, I had the phone. I'm going. He's like, don't talk on the phone. Joe, don't tap. talk on the phone. <laughs> I think it's tapped tap. right now. <laughs> yeah. He said, like, yeah, <laughs> don't say that on I'm the phone. I'm going like this on the phone. Don't, don't yeah. talk. Joe, please. I said, you hear that? I think the phone's tapped. He said, the phone's I don't give a fuck what's tapped. Where's the money? Now, unfortunately, listen, he lost I got, the game. He, he came back though. Now he's doing good. He's got yes. a restaurant. But I got to admit though, I you know, got to rest my parents' soul. They helped me out. I got yeah. the money together. Your they, parents, they, you buried them too. Well, <laughs> yeah. oh, we did them, fucking people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, they were good people though. They yeah. helped me out. We got we got together what we had to get together, and I paid it off. So after that check though, there was no more after this. No, no, that no. Was, you were completely no, no. barred the from old, the check. That's the, the old my friend, yeah. This is in the nineties. Yeah, my friend. What my friend Joey's friend too is attorney Joe Santa Guida was the best. God rest his soul. He says it's amazing. He said you found a way to 
and make money. He says, you write a few things on a piece of paper and you hand it to someone and they give you money. He says, <laughs> yeah. it's fabulous. Oh, go. Joe used to go, this is fabulous. Fabulous. That was yeah. important. That's, yeah. that's a good story. Everybody kept asking about a story, but now everybody's asking about, is the pork chop Joey on the menu at the Kitchen Consiglier? As a matter of fact, we got to get a picture of me and you holding the pork chop. Right. Put it next to your picture. Okay. In between that and the golden we gotta do it. star power, you we, know? We got to do the, what do you call it, Angie, your restaurant? We're going to do a jailhouse meal. Yeah, we got to do a jailhouse meal. We're going to make a tuna gravy. Wow. With pasta, with a stinger, a microwave, a uh, tuna fish can to cut I the I can't garlic. even imagine what that looks like. You'd be surprised. What we watch. make in a microwave oven. All you need is pomi tomatoes, a box of garlic, a little jar, a little thing of olive oil. You need a bucket, and a stinger, stinger, water, and, a, and then whatever and you make, whether bag. you make marinara. Well, we even made meatballs. Really? And then, oh, I we got did, a story for another show about the meatballs. Wait, you even made meatballs in jail? We the laundry bag to, to, to strain it, the strainer in the laundry bag. Right, yeah, strain it in the laundry bag. Yeah. Sometimes we just hold the lid and go, like, hey, listen, I'm real fast, I'll tell you about the meatballs. Go on. So my 40th birthday, I'm in jail. So we found a guy that worked in the kitchen. We gave him like four books of stamps. He robs he robs this five pound tube of meat. Okay. So me, my friend Paulie from Detroit, we make meatballs. It was our birthdays that weekend. So we make the meatballs. We get all the stuff and we cook them in the microwave. I mean, they weren't fried. Yeah, but they were good. So we made the gravy. So the next thing you know, uh, we had dinner. Everybody sat down. Who got the bread? Who got this? Everybody was stealing something out of the place. Yeah. So. Uh, so we go to eat and everything. So it was my 40th birthday. I was an only child. My mother was home. So she called me up and she says to me, I knew what she was going to say. Did you eat? Happy, yeah. I called happy birthday. But, but, but did you eat? So I didn't want to say nothing to her on the phone. So I had Vinny and Cosmo from Toronto teach me how to say in Italian to her. So nobody, they wouldn't understand it because they listened to every call. They yeah, could be yeah. listening to 17 calls. We had, I had the 748 number. My, they stopped, stop listening. They could, they could be planning to bomb another building. Stop. We got to listen to what Angelo yeah, said. Yeah. And that's how it was in there. They, they abused us. So then it took like 10 hours. Vinny and Cosmo teach me to say, today we ate homemade meatballs with linguine. So she went, did you eat? I said, oh, you mangia. Pupette fat in casa. You so good the pomodoro linguine. She says to me, you know what? Where'd you get the meat for the meatball? <laughs> and, an hour, and an hour, I'm in the lieutenant's office to pack in my bags and I'm in the hole. Uh, what yeah. am I going to do? And then they say That's right my now. luck. Even in there, what are you going to do? How many fucking meatballs do you eat? Oh, we made about 36 no, of them. How many do you eat? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That got like, nah. Yeah, we had to share, you know, the Italian yeah, guys. Yeah, we had to share. You know, so, you know, you had to feed everybody. I had two, three meatballs. All right, good. Me. Right. Well, that was it. So that's the story. That's the story. And we're going to make a jailhouse meal for you. And, uh, we're gonna, yeah, and we're the gonna, pork chop Joey is currently on the menu. Yeah, it's on currently menu. on the menu. All right, good. It's, it's, it's selling off the second to none, selling off the menu. Matter of fact, we're going to start raising pigs and slaughtering them. This way we can have our All right, supply good. of pork. Yeah, yeah. My friend, <laughs> as well. I always says, this time you make the perfect stranger. My man. Take care. Have a good one. All right, see, see you. See you, All see you right. later, Angela. Where is the food? I am starving. I'm starving, too. I know. It should be coming out. Thank God, you know. Certain people aren't here right now, so we could we could really enjoy this food. What'd you get to eat? I got the, the boss's veil, filet mignon, I think. Uh, what you order? I got the lobster franchise and yeah, a little taste of the veal. Yeah, a little veal parmesan. Girls, the girls, the girls Do you have any of the cheese yet? The best. The best. I might come here. I could I eat more and more, and more and more and more. It's the best cheese around. Here comes the food. All right. My own. All right, lobster perfect. Lobster franchise. That's it. I got the lobster franchise. Thank you. You're welcome. What else we got over there? We got a petite filet over here. That's Joey's. Yeah, their filet is one of the best, best in the city. Veal parmesan. Thank you. You're welcome. And what's that? Boss's uh, uh, chicken. Yeah, boss, yeah that's Boss's the best. Veal. Boss's veal, all right? Thank God. Peppers. Thank God Peppers. Angelo's Peppers. not here for Enjoy. this piece. Thank God Angelo in here. We go broke. Enjoy. Thank you, girls. We whoa, appreciate whoa, it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I was in the bed. Hold on a minute. Hey, where the fuck you come? Hey, Anina, come here. Bring a set up, because knowing them, they took the forks and knives away. <laughs> yeah. That's for you. Yeah. you sure, of course. You want to buffalo me right now. No. Wow. Pull the foods out. You we know, thought you I left. I can't eat somebody else's food. They said you left. They, yeah, I left, yeah. I went to the bathroom, that's all. So I smelled the food, then I came back. As soon as the food came, you came back. Yeah, it cost 4000 to feed you in here. <laughs> uh, I don't worry, but Zen's in it. You know, Richie's the best. Yeah, Richie is the best. He's a good man, Richie. Joe, I like, I like that shirt you got on today. I'm getting ready for hockey. Hockey season. Here yeah. we come. Yeah, yeah here All comes right. the setup. All right. You got that, dear. Thank you very much. One for you. For you. you want some, you want some veal parm? What's, or that? That? What's that, the veal? Yeah. yeah, let me tell you something about veal. Watch this. Hold this thing. Forget the knife. When you got real veal, 
See this? You're going to cut it with a fork. 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 Wow, Look fork that. piece. That's, that's real veal. This is probably one of the worst, most well-known dishes in South Philadelphia. Really this good. boss veal with well, the sweet peppers. Stop eating my fucking veal. No, no, I just want to take the piece out. The lobster franchise yeah. is the best ever. No, this is fucking unbelievable. Yeah, Get it is. None. Yes, it is. What's there's, that, veal there's parm? There's steak's the best. Veal parm. Is, Here, give me the veal parm. This is... Listen, same thing with the veal here. Fry it, do whatever you want with it. What you got to do? Take a fork. Look at this. With a fork. Cut me Look a at little. this. With a fork. Cut me a little piece of that. Cut your piece. Yeah, in. just a little. Look, with a fork, get in I'm there. cutting it. Who needs knives? I never use a knife. My wife makes fun of me I every night. I guarantee you, never this is milk-fed veal. No, the best, the best. My man, thank Looks you. Just like they said, try to, they said in the Godfather, try the veal. It's the best in the city. It's the best in the city. You're right, Ange. And see this steak? Yeah. Everybody thinks talking about it. They got the best steak in Philly. Uh-huh. Around. Taste that steak. Wow. Take it home and you put it in the glove department. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, this feel is excellent. Listen, this is worth the price of admission over here. Yes, it friends. is. Yes, it is. You came back just in time for the food. Absolutely, I wasn't missing this for nothing. Mm -hmm. Look at a little bit of demi glaze on top of it. Look at this. That is good. Maron Ming. Everybody says, "What? Well, forget about it." It's like they says in the movie, you know, That's those right. peppers. Forget did about you, it. This did, veal. Forget about it. And Joe, this I don't beef, know. Forget about it. I don't know if you heard. Did you see what happened last week with the school shooting? Oh yeah, in the, the college. In the college, yeah. I know. Did you that. see that? That's, I mean, that's, you know, what would you do to stop at? The school children? Yeah. It's easy. They don't want to do it. Biden don't want to do it. Oh, he don't know. He's older than wild with that motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. It's easy. All you got to do is get, there's so many vets out of work. Yeah. Get five, five, six vets each school outside of AK-47s. Got to get the metal doors they had in USP Macquarie, the bulletproof doors. You mm -hmm. put them in the school rooms. And that's it. A kid walks up with a gun, shoot him right there. Yeah. I mean, uh, listen. You'll never, you'll never see another school shooting again. It's and, sad and, what and, really and happens. And you're giving vets jobs. Yeah. People are out of work. They're all, all veterans. A lot of people are out of work we right gave, now. We gave uh, uh, Iran $6 billion two weeks ago. $6 billion we gave them. They can't pay for fucking vets to stand outside the fucking Six school. $6 billion. And, and when we gave Ukraine 100 billion, I don't know what the fuck they gave them. I know. That's it. And people are out of work. Minimum wage is you're what? Put $15 back, an you're hour? You're put the vets back to work. Yeah. The kids will be protected. There'll never be another school shooting. Yeah, you'll never see it again. Put the bulletproof doors in and you have five, six vets outside each school. Yeah. That's it. Somebody walks up with a gun, they got to shoot them. Yeah. That's it. Hey, it's listen, over. you got to be able to protect the kids right they now because there's a lot of stuff going on. They don't want to do it. They don't, don't want to do, do it because it don't affect them. You yeah. understand? When it affects them personally, then it's a different story. Get involved. It's a new thing. It's this, yeah. it's that. You know, remember that other rat? Who? Walt Disney on our case. <laughs> Which one? Ralph. Oh, Natalia, that motherfucker. They asked him one time about ISIS. Now, this is how much this guy. And there's another guy the government made a deal with. I mean, he says, I could stop ISIS tomorrow. He says, I need myself and five men. He says, that's all. Let me pick the men and we'll stop. And they and this is what they promote and they yeah. let go. You it's understand? Really, it's crazy. As a matter of fact, if he was alive today, he would stop the school shootings. He'd come up with yeah. well, it. Give me <laughs> me and five men. Manny, Mo, Jack, Curly, and yep. Jim. He, he, you know. he knew everything. He, he knew the name of the unknown soldier. Forget that. He stood there at the Last Supper. No. And he told Leonardo da Vinci how to pose them. That's, that's, yeah. that's how far back he goes. He was just a fucking guy. How good, how good is Wait this? Wait till we do an episode on him. Yeah. How good we is this? We three food? episodes for him. Yeah. No, we got him. We're going to bury him. That lying motherfucker. I remember he told you, I want to go in a foxhole with Joey. <laughs> he didn't throw you up and made you get yeah. shot with that yeah. guy. Oh, Greatest boy. storyteller in the world. Well, anyway, guys, I'm glad I came back. I'm glad I made that bathroom stop. Yeah, beautiful. Food's unbelievable. Mm, yeah. Take some with you to go, Ange. No, no. I'm good. What about I'm the steak? Good. No, I'm, I'm, I'm watching. I'm All right. the Ozempic. He's on the Ozempic. Yeah, it's doing it's good. Done. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm doing great. <laughs> yeah, you're, four, you're 420. <laughs> 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 you're fucking sick. Well, I don't want to sit on that chair. He's relaxing. Put my fat ass on that chair. It ain't going to work. No. I'd rather stand and talk. You know, bullshit. And Absolutely. Do over here. I hear you, Gucci. Well, listen, once again. Are you leaving this time or are you coming back? No, is dessert coming? Yeah, maybe no, I'll come. Dessert. Maybe I'll come back for dessert later. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got Talk it. Years later. I'll Take see you later. Guys. Get home safe, big guy. All right. Did you, how, uh, Angela? He's a class act. No, he's good. How about that Phillies loss last night?
fucked them motherfuckers. But they did us. Well, no, they couldn't say. Me neither. I couldn't I sleep. Them. I bet them. I know you bet them. I bet them. And then we gave out Green Bay after. That was another I mean, disaster. I mean, once the Phillies lost, Green Bay was dead. Up four three, nothing. Three interceptions. First and goal twice. Couldn't score. Couldn't score. And, and uh, they got two field goals. The Phillies should have won seven nothing, yeah. though. Well, they had four hits. And the first inning with a double and only scored one run. I know. The third base coach got to go. You got to get fired. They, they left 11 runners on? And turn, yeah. And Turner. Turner. The, the, the he makes me sick. They had he makes one me hit, sick. One hit they had and they had a run. Yeah. Guy was pitching a no-hitter. How they how he let that pitch go over the plate. And I knew Riley, I knew it was going. As soon as he touched hit the bat. With one hand, he hit the home run. I know. You see, his hand, Goff. his hand came off the bat. He did that yeah, way. I know. That way. Golf swing. And then we knew after that the no, night was over. We were buried. Yeah, now I'm looking to borrow yeah, today I'm, again. I'm, I'm, I want bed this week. Yep. Me. I might be moving in your house. You might you be moving. <laughs> you might be coming over yeah, with us. I might be coming over soon. But the only thing that we did give out, we gave the UFC fight out, though. Second yeah, round UFC. knockout. That yeah. kid's a beast. Yeah, he's good. Joe from Phil. I mean, you can't beat but that. But a couple of my bets I switched because when we fill them, it's, it's early in the week. Yeah, we don't know the reports. That's why, that's why you got to watch the, the, the clips. Exactly. We switch the bets. We do switch some of the bets, but the only problem is that people, they don't understand. you got to gamble responsibly. Don't be like us. Do your own thing. <laughs> I mean, that's just like what us. it comes down to. Forget but it. we got a special this week. We got little Eddie coming on. Little Eddie, my nephew. Your nephew. Wait, do you see this beauty? Yeah, doing a little fantasy action today. We're going to do a start him and sit him right after we finish this lobster franchise, and we'll go from there, all right? You got it. All right, we're back with a new segment this week <laughs> for fantasy football with Joey's nephew, Little Wags. He's fucking buried me this week. I'm 0-5 in fantasy. The fuck you do? I don't fuck with fantasy. Well, fucking snuff buried me two <laughs> yeah, weeks, five buried. weeks in a row. I'm buried. No, it's not my fault. I, I just told you, Chase. I don't play fantasy. I gamble. And don't gamble. Don't, don't gamble. Don't, don't be like us. Your uncle. But you buried me. I'm 0 for 5. You better buy me something or give me some money. That's or I'm going to flip out. Or I'm going to flip out. Well, I lost the Phillies bet last night. You're dead. You're dead. But before any of this, I'm starving. Fat Angelo ate no fucking food. I'm starving. <laughs> yeah. I'm starving. Over we'll, get you, we'll get you uh, Chick-fil-A. We'll get you food. Now, we'll let's. Chick-fil-A. We need your honest opinions here on this fantasy. Because I hear you're a guru for fantasy. Now, this is for the kids. What do you think this week about Derrick Henry playing in London with the Titans? Start him or sit him? I'm going to sit him this week. Because you're versing the Ravens, London. It's a, seven, it's a 9.30 type of game. They held Najee Harris to only five points last week. Wow. I think he's got to sit him this right. week because there's other running backs. We, we, we'll sit him. I don't know fantasy. I, I never did it in my life. Well, you're going to start knowing it after this. We might start yeah. betting next week. That's another, another voice we have. Yeah, no. So what about uh, Drake London on the Falcons? Drake London, that's another sit. He's like a consistent guy if you want 10 or less points. He'll never give you a superstar game with Desmond Ritter at quarterback. This kid's good. He knows. He, he knows. What about, what about Uncle George Kittle? Kittle, three touchdowns against the Cowboys. Now he's going up against the Browns. They're a pretty good defense. He's an inconsistent player for fantasy, but I would start him. Wow, all right. We're starting. What about Jonathan Taylor for the Colts? Taylor, coming off a big injury. Last week was his only game. He had 4.4. He's at Jacksonville. I would sit him this week. All right, we're going to sit him. And now Garrett Wilson. Who the fuck? You got no team. You sit everybody. <laughs> yeah, we got more guys. <laughs> what about Garrett Wilson? He's in Philly. He got the crazy fans. I believe since first time here. Yeah. Yep. I mean, he only had nine points last week, and now he's versing one of the best defenses in the league. I would sit him again. You would sit. You would sit Wilson. Would they're they're playing in the Jets though this week. They're playing in New York. Oh, they are. The Eagles are in New York. And who you starting? Who's your team this week that you're starting? Let me got, hear. You got one guy playing. Go ahead. Kittle. From this, I got Kittle, Chase, Williams, Walker, and Mostert. All right. That's a start. Chase had three touchdowns last week. I told you to sit him. And Chase is versus Seattle. You to- All four weeks, you had me fucking start him. Then you make me bench him this week. And he, and has he, has three three and he gets three fucking acid. touchdowns. You get three touchdowns. To You're acid. Yeah, I am. <laughs> you can't listen to him. Oh. Well, listen, that's your fantasy team this week. That's the fantasy football segment. How, and what's your record this year in fantasy I'm football? I'm on fucking five, both of oh. you. <laughs> yeah. Both of you motherfuckers buried me. Well, listen, don't gamble like me and your uncle. No, just play Do, fantasy. Just no fantasy gambling. football. Gambling's got, bad. Gambling's bad. And whoever is out there gambling, got to gamble responsibly. Don't listen to us. Yeah. And next week, we're going to have you back on this better win this week all right you're going to get your first win this week all right Ed? let me ask you a question so where the fuck did you learn how to curse <laughs> between you and my fucking father where do you think i learned how to curse <laughs> <laughs> jesus christ <laughs> all right eddie not today you better get some money next week from him all right 
My buddy. Nice See seeing you. you. All right. We love you. I mean, he's the best. He's got more inside knowledge than anybody yeah, ever. Geez. Now, what, what's what's your picks this week? Because you you buried the people uh, here. Yeah, well, my picks for you. I switched a few with him. Yeah, you switched a few. Go ahead. Who I like this week? You got your col. You got college first. Yeah, I got college. You buried me last week with Texas. Yeah, I did. I, I knew. Soon, I, I, I was going to go the other way. So I like. I like. I like the North Texas. North Texas. They're minus seven. First Temple. Temple stinks. Yeah, Temple stinks. And I like uh, Florida State. Minus like, 17 over Syracuse. How about Miami's coach? He should be fired. He's supposed to knee on the ball. Yeah. <laughs> he ended off. They fumble. fumble. They got to throw a the bomb. Ball. What, 70-yard touchdown to yeah. win the game? I mean, how do, uh, it's crazy. I like I like over in a James Madison game, 58 and a half. Or is it 53? 58 and a half, yeah. 58 and a half. And I like uh, over Marshall, 56 and a half. 56 and a half in that game. And the pros, I like uh, over in the Dolphins game. You and the Do- anything that has to do with the Dolphins, you like. They're good. They're yeah. good. I-, I told you last week. They play Carolina. Carolina can't score a touchdown. Yeah, they don't score. I like Jacksonville again. Jacksonville. That team's that team's coming on. I know. That Trevor, kid's good. You, you gotta love Trevor Lawrence. Everything yeah, he does yeah. every week, Jacksonville. And I, and I like Detroit. I ain't been no more bad teams no more. I know. Besides, we back Green Bay last night. Green Bay, yeah. They're supposed to win though. I know. I mean, dead first and goal two I times. Know. Green Bay minus two. Can't score a touchdown. Green Bay. Detroit's, Detroit's, Detroit's for real. Yeah. I don't care where they're at. Home. Tampa Bay stinks too. All right. Who you like? Let me get, let me, let me, let me get the, the picks out. I was four and two last week again. Another winning week, even though everybody makes fun of me. I did win again last week. No, you won. 19 ranked Tennessee minus three and a half home over Texas A&M. I love Tennessee minus three and a half. KC minus nine and a half over Denver. Yeah, they should. I mean, they, I hate that team, Kansas City. Did you see what happened last week in the Kansas City game? It's fixed. It I read an article been. on the paper. They said they give them all the every call, every every call they get because they want them on TV. They took the he the took guy took the helmet off. The ref told him put it back on. As soon as you take your helmet off, it's fifteen yard penalty. Like, yeah. yeah, and yeah. they would have first and goal. Yep. They picked up the pass interference. They and picked the it up. Yeah. And the helmet they didn't do. It's great. Everything is for Mahomes. Yep, they love him. Just want Mahomes and Kelsey sh- to win everything. They should kill Denver though. Denver stinks. Yeah, Denver does stink. My lock of the week, Vikings minus two and a half over the Bears. They fucking stink too, the Vikings. But the Bears stink too. Every pick I give, you say stinks. Well, you pick bad teams. Yeah, I pick bad teams. All right. Over Buffalo and the Giants, 45. That's my other pick. Over? Over. Giants might not score. I know. But they don't Buffalo. score for three months. Buffalo does. No, Buffalo's good. Buffalo scores. The Giants, they they are really just god awful. They're, they're bad. They shouldn't even have a team. They have to fire the coach. They have to get rid of Danny Dimes, and I bet them every week this year so far. Yeah, but it ain't his fault. I mean, he, he gets killed every— They got no offense. They got no, no line. You like Cincinnati, too, right? I love Cincinnati minus two and a half. I like them, Seattle. too. Barrows is going to start playing now. Barrow back? He's back, yeah. You, you bet them to win the Super Bowl. Yeah. You said that Cincinnati was your lock this year. Yeah, I like them. And they started bad last year. Now they come back. San Fran's the best team. San Fran's unbelievable. Yeah, they're, they're physical. Yeah, they are. They're, they're, they're a very yeah. good team. And that quarterback's good. I didn't think he was that good. He's still relevant. Yeah, he's, he's good. He wasn't even supposed to do no, anything. They, knew. Adam. they got rid of everybody. I know. They know. So we'll see what happens there. So we got some picks. I got the, my lock of the week, though, is the Vikings over the Bears <laughs> minus two and a half. That's my right. mortal, mortal, mortal lock. Okay. And now we got to bring in somebody who's been on fire that everybody's asking for. He got a new lid. Out of the lid. Out of the lid. He's coming in. We got to let, let, let's get him on here. Let, let's hear his picks. Uh, let me move over here. Now he's yeah. a sports advisor all of a sudden. You know yeah, that, right? he's a professional. He's calling, he's calling final scores. Yeah. He, he's really living the dream right now. Yeah, he loves it. I was Lid, in, where are you at? Is he around? Yeah, he's around. We were in live the other night. A guy comes up. Where's out? Here he is. What's up, here my he buddies? Is with a fresh piece. What's going on? This yeah. looks good. How you guys like the new lid? Yeah, yeah we love good. the lid, Al. What's up, my buddy? Gotta put a little spray in it. Nah, no, it's good. It's Joe, natural. I was at Does that move in the wind? No. no don't move it. Don't wind. move at all. What kind of does yours? Kind of wind? Wind. How's yours moving the wind? Yeah, but my I got spray in it. See this face? What kind of wind conditions could you on there? It's good. Ah, oh, so put me on a plane. It don't matter. I'm talking about if it's windy outside. A hurricane. 30, 40, a hurricane. We're hurricane. good. Yeah. A hurricane. Yeah. Fuck, yeah, you got you super little, glue on that motherfucker? Yeah. Why don't right. you get a little fade? Go to Scars, get a fade, and then he'll blend it all in for you like me. Start looking like me. Get a line in your head. Yours looks like a bucket of hot. No, it looks, yeah. good. It looks yeah. good, though. All right, so who you got? Who's your lock? You were hot. I love the... Uh, I really like KC this week, but I don't like betting elite teams against bad teams. If they're if they're an elite team's playing an elite team, yeah, I'll pick, you know, I'll okay. pick a game. But I really like the Texans this week. Texans? The Texans at home, they're home home dog. They're playing Atlanta. Oh, they're playing Atlanta. Yeah, they're oh, playing a home dog. The Texans are really, Stroud. really, really good at home. They're yeah, really yeah. good at home. And, yeah, yeah. and that kid's a real deal. CJ Stroud is a real yeah. deal. 
I told my Brock Purdy. Yeah. I mean, I didn't really like him, but I'll tell you what. I thought he was a five-game fluke. But I know. Like last year. He throws the ball directly to his right. guys. Yeah. Really no, no, they're good. Not you, Kittle. I mean, they're on fire. No, they're good. They're Kittle. They're Kittle. They're they're Kittle. No, they're good. They're they're got good. one lock. How about McCafferty? Uh, well, he's elite. He's number one. I like Dallas this week, although I, I don't even like saying the name. I don't like saying the name, but. Who the fuck did they play? <laughs> Dallas is playing Monday night. Monday night, yeah. Yeah. That's Chargers, amazing. right? Yeah. Chargers, yeah. Chargers, Chargers are home. Chargers are home. Chargers but I think good. like the over a little bit, but Dallas, they can't do this two weeks in a row where they're Why done. Not? But Herbert. They're done. The Herbert quarterback stinks. He stinks. Herbert. They benched him the other but day. They have to make a statement now. They got to make a statement. Did you see Dak's pregame warm up with the hips to throw for? Yeah, he does it all the time. He's, he, he does he it all the time. He, he's, he's done. He's done. He does Get rid of him, time. Jerry Jones. They got to start over. Again. Jerry Jones is the coach. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> he coached it. Until he dies, they'll never win anything. I know. Never. So now, you, so now you're putting the horns on him to die. Nah, I'm not putting yeah, the horns on him, but I mean, uh, you know, Dallas, Eddie, what they have a two playoff wins since 92? That's Al, ridiculous. Did, did you bet the Phillies last night? I did. I bet the over last night. How you like it? Oh, wow. Now you oh, even like. had the overs. Like, I gave it out all day. Yeah, you did say overs. I had the Phillies, motherfucker. How the fuck <laughs> I lose that game? how they lose it. <laughs> We're watching it. We're watching it. Yeah. I, I had a no hitter to seven. Trey Turner booted a ball just to throw it. It was a thrown into the infield. It was ridiculous. Yeah, so we got so we got Houston's your lock. That's it. Love Houston this week. Love Houston. You do like KC. I like Jags, go. but I don't want to be responsible for that. Right, so you don't want to be responsible for <laughs> No, I like the Jags. That's right. Man. I, I, well, who do you like? Tell us. I like the Jags a little bit. And Houston. That's your lock. Love Houston. Houston's a lock. Let's and put it. Dallas. Let's put, the lids likes. He likes. All right, the lids got three. Pieces. Well, what, what 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 was your what was your record last week? Four and two. What was it the week before? Oh, and five. We're still, okay, but we're not talking about that. What was your record last week? Mine switched around. Yeah, because I, I switched games, <laughs> but I didn't do too good. He switches yeah. at halftime. Yeah. One, one, <laughs> yeah. And then I, I horns the I horns the Phillies last night. They were winning three nothing. All right, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna and make we made a, a video. I'm, we made a video like the game was I, over. I knew I was dead, but when the Phillies lost, I knew I knew the Green Bay game was dead. Danielle says to me last night, "My own, why did you post the video?" Yeah, I know. Everybody was commenting. I know. Why would you post the video? Jinx horns. I know. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a challenge. Go ahead. I'm going to make us a friendly challenge, and no South Philly guy does not accept the challenge. Let's hear All it. right. If either one of you guys has a better week than me, yeah, both of you have to have a better week. The wig comes off. Wow. Your wig. The wig comes off Are for the you next pick segment. The same amount of games as us. Four games a week will do. Right. Four games a week. Four games a week. So we're better than you this week. If, the next week you have no wig. Whoever on. has the least, <laughs> whoever has the least, wears my spare wig. I seen the I'm black not wearing that. I see. No. I see. No. You got listen. Mine's coming off. Yeah. You have to wear my When's spare the wig. Time you took that thing off. It comes off all the time. I, I seen that black wig in your car. That's it. You, you, you got to wear my spare I gotta, wig. I got to I got to put this up on a. You're not accepting a challenge. It's amazing. What, what we're, we're on national. This is national now. You're not accepting a challenge. It looked like a fucking rag doll in the car. <laughs> yeah. I got a picture. I'm going to show you. I got it on my phone. I'm yeah. going to show you. Yeah. <laughs> Listen. We accept it. Thirty eight years never came off in front of nobody. I'm going to take it off nationally if you two mummies could beat me in a week. All right. All right. Deal. Deal. All right, yeah. but you have to both beat me for the week. All right, yeah. and whoever does it, whoever is not as good as the other, wears the, the okay. spare wig. All right, All right. We'll you see got what it. happens. All right, Al, yeah, thanks for stopping by. <laughs> it's always a pleasure having you. Al. <laughs> you know, All I love right. you. You right. got it. Good my seeing you, Al. All right. All right, my man. You got it. Be good. I'll, I'll be honest with you. We got to beat Al because one of us got to wear that piece. I ain't wearing that motherfucker. So now I got to wear it. You got to wear it. You're going to leave it off to I me. I just told him, yeah, I ain't wearing it. I won't yeah. put that on. You're nuts. I, that, that stays in the cat's, like, area. Listen, I'm going to show you this fucking picture. Yeah, it's it bad. It like a muskrat. I don't yeah. know what it was. Uh, yeah, it was I, in the seat of the car. And you're going to let me wear it, right? It's black, though. It'll look good on you. It'll look good on the head? Yeah, it's black. It's a black one. I like that watch you're wearing today. Oh, you get, yeah, thank you. Everybody always comments on your watches. You got a new watch every week. I got my man, Greg, from Boca. He sells watches, diamonds, whatever you need. Just DM us. See, uh, he, he'll, ta he'll take care of best everybody. Price on any watch you want. Yeah, I, I gotta get it. And he, and he can get you any watch. Really? Yeah, from RM to AP, Rolex, whatever you need. Yeah, you you always got the swag, minute. and everybody says it in the videos. They Thank love you. the drip. Right. They do the love drip. it. I didn't know what that meant. Well, <laughs> <laughs> we also got to talk a little bit about Eagles tailgate, October twenty second. Yeah. Lincoln Financial Field, cross from Xfinity Live. It's going to be Lot G. Lot G. Uh, we got Steve set up the bus already. We're going to have food. We're going to have drinks, merchandise. Yeah, we're going to we're going to be live on the on YouTube. On YouTube, we're going to do it for 10-15 yeah. minutes. minutes. Yeah. It's going to be a big party. DJ Johnny Luch is going to be there. Luch is going to be there. So yeah, we're going to have a good time. Make sure everybody comes down. It's free. We're going to be giving everything away. Whatever they want. We were trying to get a food truck, but you're not allowed to have a food no. truck in there. Angel had it all set up with a food truck, but yeah. you're not allowed. But we will have food, though. We'll, yeah, have, we'll have everything for everybody. And then 
After we do the tailgate, we'll do a little live. You know, we'll hang out, and then hopefully we get we go to the Eagles game. We go to the Eagles game. Yeah. They play Miami. It's a good game. It's a great game. Yeah. Miami. Kelly Green night. Yeah, Kelly Green. They might kill Miami. Yeah. Let me get a little sip of water for the end and get us. All right. A little dessert. You know, where I always say I get a little uncomfortable, but I, I'm not uncomfortable no more because now they're even coming at me. They don't even know me. <laughs> they're using your name to get more views well, than I've ever seen. That's what they got. If they don't talk about me, nobody's going to watch the show. You're 100% right. But we not, surpassed all of them. Yeah, I'm not going to talk about them. I'm, I'm no. not going to entertain them. That's what they want me to do. Correct. You know what I mean, just two things. The one kid, Gene, what's his name? Barrello? Gene Barrello. Barrello. Yeah. Yeah, he said he never hit a girl or whatever. Yeah. He forgot this. Tell him the story when he fucking uh, did a home invasion and tied a 50-year-old lady up. Wow. I forgot about that. Yeah, he forgot that, That's please. Abuse. Yeah. He called me fat. He yeah. said, I'm your coffee runner. And then? Yeah, he they don't even know me. Fucking idiot. Yeah, it's embarrassing. And it really then, is. And then he said, uh, what else did he say on there? He said something about, oh, uh, Italian families. Yeah. When uh, you go to court, all mothers stand up for you, you know, like. Mother, yeah. He made the mother beg. He made the mother get up and beg. Yeah. I had five cases. My mother came. My one trial was four months. She came every day. Yeah. I ain't going to make my mother get up and beg. Yeah. Mercy. Absolutely. He did. He's a punk. And yeah. then the other guy, Dominic, what the fuck's Dom, name? I don't even know. Dom yeah. Cacali or something yeah. like that. He robbed his grandmother for 189000 Wow. She lost the house. Signed it right over to yeah. him, right? So I wonder if she went for a sentence and then spoke up for him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, nice it's, guy, Rob, his grandmother. You know what it is? It's just hate because we surpassed them in views, subscribers. Yeah, well, I'll never talk. This yeah, is the last time we're about We're them. done talking them about fucking, them. Them two fucking misfits. Yeah. Uh, and he says if he he was talking about a thing, Whitsack jail. Yeah. They put you with the terrorists. If he ever went to a real jail. Yeah. If they ever went to a, they go to a special unit, like it was soul rats, whatever. Yeah. With this protection program. Ralph Natale had video games in the fucking cell. He's playing Nintendo. Yeah, Nintendo in the fucking cell. <laughs> yeah. The FBI used to bring him all stuff. I got the phone calls. Yeah. They used to call him up, baby. Bring me electric razor, anything you want. It's amazing. If they went, they go to Fort Dix, they go to Lowe's, they go to special housing units. If they ever went to USP Beaumont, USP McQuarrie, USP Marion, the both of them in one month would be pregnant. Yeah. That they would get abused. <laughs> Jesus God. Pregnant. Yeah. They ain't got a shot. They wouldn't have yeah. a shot. No. Yeah. Well, it. it's jealousy. Yeah. If they don't put your name in Je the captions, they would never get a view. Nobody's going to watch so, it. So that's it. We're done with we're them. We're done with them. Jealousy, yeah, forget that. Jealousy's worse than cancer. Exactly. So let's wrap it up. Wrap it up. See you next week, Kuji. See you next week. Episode five from the saloon in South Philly, 7th and Fitzwater. Also, Fitzwater Cafe. Best. Best Breakfast all one lunch. owner. Great cook. You know, they, they got the it best. down. No, it's the best. Don't forget, we're Service. on well. Spotify. We're on Apple. We're on YouTube. You got to subscribe. We have our merchandise. That's live. You know, you got to use the promo code SKINNY, 15% off. And if they want any other merchandise, leave in the comments. We'll read it. Yeah. And uh, well, we got more stuff coming. Yeah, we got way more stuff coming. We got the coffee mug. Yeah, the we got the Yeti. Yeah. And we got some things for girls yeah. in the works. Yeah. Give us some time, but yeah, episode five. Started. That's right, it. I'll see you for episode see six, you. my see buddy. You later, my man, nice seeing you. You want to meet me? Come in the Philly. Be discreetly. I got thugs who love me and trust me to be ugly. Plus, I got holes in the cut. And Dashiki's fast trying to beat me. Me and Jelini eating fettuccine. The Skinny with Joey Merlino.